a voice in my head tells me that I am at the twilight of an extraordinary life. I say extraordinary because of the people who have loved me. I say twilight because of what people say to me in the supermarket. <laughs> no, it's true, I'll be pushing my wagon, minding my own business, and a woman will see me and go, oh, 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 I thought you were dead. <laughs> Harry, come here, look who's here. We thought he was dead, he's in jams and jellies. Whatever happened to you? Well, Harry, who is it? He's got three names. Harry, <laughs> Harry, he's got three names. We'll never forget you. <laughs> you were so funny. We, you made Harry and I laugh so many times. You were so wonderful. You always beat in the heart. <laughs> I felt like saying it was a lovely service, wasn't it? <laughs> but you can't blame them. It's been in the papers since 1977. I've always dreamed that somebody would write in, you know, those question and answers about TV stars? If someone could only write about me. And then in the Palm Beach Post in 1977, I could, this actual, no, this is it. This is the real one. I, here it is. Question, I couldn't believe it. A question about me. Is Charles Nelson Riley still alive? No, honest to God, there's, every time I look in the paper and my friend Burt Reynolds frames them. <laughs> I would like to know if Charles Nelson Raleigh is alive. <laughs> I have them all in my two bathrooms at home. It's amazing. They call the box office wherever I play. And they say, who's playing Riley in the life of Riley? <laughs> and the box office says, Charles Nelson Riley. And they say, he's dead. <laughs> no, he's dead, a tall one with a wig and the glasses. He's dead. And the box office says, you're absolutely right, madam, he is dead. But he still manages to come in every night anyway. <laughs> so while I'm here, you're very kind. So while I'm here and still perpendicular and ready for my close-up, I'll tell you the story of my life. 